So we've recently talked about the added Glide Gear TMP100, our teleprompter, to add to my whole gear setup that I have here for YouTube so that I can have a lot more professional stuff, have a script, and be able to read directly through it. But there's one issue with that. We need some form of teleprompter software. Now, instead of buying something, I'm going to kind of show you what you can use, especially if you're using presentation software with your church, what you can kind of do to get around that. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member. Links are below. So let me just go ahead and cut over to it. Here's my setup here. And we got the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera inside of here and all that other stuff that we're going to be using to produce everything as you can see here. Now, on DSLR Video Shooter, I'm gonna share a link to that video. Um, he actually used a screen so that he could send the video to a monitor instead of an um, iPad to reflect up that he could see exactly himself of what he's shooting through the pass-through of the camera. Now, that will work, but I still want to actually see my script, so what am I gonna do? What I'm going to do is hook up this field world monitor that I reviewed that has been my um, kind of, I have it mounted on top of my Blackmagic camera, but again, it was above the camera, so I'm my eyes are not focused in the lens. So what I'm going to do is put this in place of where the tablet goes, hook this up as if it's a monitor, and then I'm going to run everything from like worship extreme into OBS and then output my image as well as everything from my lyrics not lyrics but um what i'm going to be talking about like in a teleprompter i'm gonna feed all of that into obs and then it's going to output on this monitor so let's actually hook up the everything here and then we're going to show you how this is going to work all right so we have the camera set up we have it in our um, teleprompter here obviously y'all can see me perfectly fine it's going through the glass you don't really see anything so it's right there um, but this is what we're gonna do so here is my field world monitor that has way too many fingerprints on it and we need this to be a flat surface this is going to be powered um, so we have to, and because of the tray that's on here, we need this to be flat. So we're gonna take off the battery mount here. And like I said, I have a power supply that's gonna go to this. And I already took off two of the screws before I started recording here. And then we just have this little plug here. All right. So now it's gonna set completely flat. And the idea, is we're going to hook this up so it's just like a regular monitor with a line in. So let's go ahead and hook that up. All right, so let's go ahead and give it some power here. All right, so I plugged in my, in my setup, I'm using a whole bunch of monitors. So it's kind of difficult for me to do this because for whatever the reason the RTX 2070 is only allowing me to have four outputs. So I have this USB to HDMI adapter that I'm gonna use so it gives me a, another monitor. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And then let's connect this to the line in. And then boom, there we go. Now we have another monitor. So if I cut over here to my computer and we go to our display, as you can see, now we have five monitors. Cool. So the first thing we're gonna do, that's been done. We got that knocked out, all right? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to capture 
and this I know this is, I'm going to simplify this, but this is how I got it to work. So please <laughs> bear with me. So I am I have I'm live streaming with um, vMix right now. Well, recording this right now and it's feeding through. So there's multiple ways you could do this. I could feed this in through USB, through OBS on this computer. There's other ways to do this. So but what I'm going to do is I'm capturing the video from this camera, but because I'm using the mixer, I want to have all my inputs. So what we're going to do is in vMix, I am outputting everything onto NDI. All right. So and you can see that here. This is what I normally look at when I'm recording so I can see what's going on. But I am going to put this on an actual monitor instead of me doing this. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and open up OBS. All right, so let's go here and make a brand new scene collection and I will call this um, teleprompter, all right? So I'm gonna go in and capture my NDI source. And I'm gonna use the vMix output. And I don't need audio. So that's why now I'm seeing the loop of the loop of the loop going on right here. And just like we've done before, what we're going to do is right click on here and output a full screen projector to our monitor. So if I do that, now we can see on here what we want to have up here reflected on our teleprompter. But if we come back over here, we need to flip it. All right. So I'm going to turn this off right now because this is going to get annoying and you're just going to see everything going over and over again. Now that's step one. Step two is we're going to use a teleprompter program, which happens to actually be online. All right. So I'm using teleprompter and it's all free. You can do everything in the web. There's no limits and all this other stuff. All right, so I'm gonna set my background color. Defaultly, it comes in at black, but because of my setup, I'm gonna do this in green because we're gonna chroma key this out, all right? So I have this on the screen just so y'all can see it, but I'm gonna have this on a different screen. And honestly, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be capturing the window of this. So if we come over here back to OBS, we're gonna do a new window capture you know so I'll say call it teleprompter and boom we got our stuff all right and I want to make sure that we're this is going to be full screen um, and I guess you could keep it this way that's fine because we're going to erase out all the extra that we don't want all right, so let's go ahead and fit this to screen. And I guess because I have it like this, that's why I was doing it. So let's move this actually to a different screen. All right, so we're gonna take up the full screen over here. And let's make it full screen, or if you don't wanna do full screen, so you can have the controls, we can just hold down the Alt key and we're gonna drag that part out. And let's drag this other side scroll bar out as well, too, so you can't see it. All right. So we're all good. And let's can we resize it to take up everything? All right. I think this is fine. All right. So on screen, I have the controls and we got everything. So let's chroma key this now. Filters, add a chroma key. All right. So now. You can see directly through it. Now let's lock this in place. Let's turn on our NDI source and boom. Of course that looks crazy right now, but if I cut over to my camera, you can see that now, not on my main screen, but I have my teleprompter screen is now showing everything that I need from here. So here's the straight shot because I'm outputting from OBS to this monitor. Boom, now you see everything. All right, so with, with our output that you can see that we have our words and everything on here, 
Um, actually, I forgot something. Let's cut, cut back over to here. And what we need to do is we need to flip this because it's going to be mirrored. So all we got to do is you can do this individually or do it in a group. That's what I like to do. It makes it easier. I'll make a group. I'm going to place all these items inside of the group. And then on this group, we are going to transform it and do a horizontal flip. All right. So now if we cut over to here, so y'all can see it. See now everything is backwards, but once I put it in a mirror, I should be able to read it. All right, so let's go ahead and place this up here. All right, after a whole bunch of jumping around and all this other stuff, my stuff, I can see words, but obviously in the recording, y'all can't see it. So if I come here and bring up my camera so that y'all can see, as you can see, here's OBS. Here's the original that y'all are normally seeing, but this is what I see. So I can see the screen. Um, obviously you can't see anything that's going on in this field. So this is what I can see. I can see myself in the shot and everything, or just like here, I got it reversed. And as you can see, the words are completely fine for me to read and everything comes through. So, of course, I got some tweaking to do. And as you can see from how I have the monitor set up, you know, I could, could go with something a lot bigger than this five inch, maybe a seven inch or nine inch type of monitor would be fine. Um, I ended up changing out to a, a less stiff HDMI cable to make it fit fine, but this works. And again, especially if it's just for me to be able to read and see what my script is, I'm looking directly at the screen right now, works perfectly fine. And this is the only thing I really spent was, I mean, I already had the field monitor, so, you know, that's fine. Um, and I had the teleprompter. That's what this was gonna be for. Now, you can make, hopefully, my intention is to make this a whole lot more simple instead of having all these extra cables and extra monitors because ideally, I haven't been able to find one that works very well. I could actually still use the iPad inside of this, be able to see myself, but still be able to get the text, my script of what I want to do. The only thing I need is an NDI studio that will be a, I mean, studio monitor that will be displayed on um, the iPad or something like that, or an Android that would solve all these extra cables, but I haven't been able to find anything that can do that yet. But in this scenario, I think this works perfectly fine. I can read, I'm focused right here. I can see myself. I can see the words, I can see that I'm in focus, I can do everything, and now my dedicated focus could be right here, and then I can still read everything. Now, granted, yes, there was a whole lot of stuff I had to put in place, but it's a proof of concept, it works. Over time, I'm sure this can be streamlined to not have as much stuff going on. So that's my hack. <laughs> please don't beat me up in the comments. Um, like I said, this is something that, this is DIY, this is me just trying to figure stuff out and what I need to do. And yes, I can put the script up and that's all I need, that can work, but I want to be able to see what's going on instead of me looking down to see, oh, um, what, what do I look like? What's going on on screen? Everything is directly in front of me and I really don't have to do anything. So I would try and <laughs> simplify it as much as I possibly can on, the, um, in the description or on my website when I talk about everything that I use to put this in place. And hopefully y'all like that. And the next couple of videos, this is what I'm gonna be using to go through my script so I can read, have a little bit more professional stuff going on instead of me just shooting off the hip and I have to do a whole bunch of editing. So anyway, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I want to thank the patrons 
for making this video possible. Their name's on the screen right now, and you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month, where you help us train media ministries all over the world, or you can become a member here on YouTube by clicking the join button below for as little as $4.99 a month, where we have different perks exclusive just to YouTube, but no matter which way you pick, your contributions are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video. Later.